There you are batoning. There's going to be so much shit talked about that. You should never baton your knife because, yeah. again, this is unnecessary damage to your <laughs> primary survival implement. <laughs> primary survival implement is your damn brain. Is your brain. I was about to say that. That's right. You know my taste in knives. I like yeah. sharpened crowbars. Yeah. That's right. You can't do that with your knife. Exactly. <laughs> Without fear of it. Without you know? fear of it breaking or something. That'll work. There's lots of different options coming when it comes to stoves and cooking devices. Um, but really, which ones make the most sense for what we're talking about? And if you're talking about a backpacking situation where you're going to be getting easily resupplied um, with with uh, fuel canisters like this, maybe not these great big ones, but some of the smaller ones, um, then a stove like this MSR is going to be the ticket. It's going to be the way to go. I bought those larger canisters. They make a small one of like half the size of yeah. that. I got those at WAL-MART and um, for not a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah, these aren't expensive at all, yeah. um, but they are a significant amount of heft. And you're, if you're planning on carrying this with you, you got to take that into consideration. Mm -hmm. And this probably weighs easy, pound. Well, yeah, 15.5 ounces, fluid ounces, I'm assuming. But but let's say it's, it's about a pound probably. Um, but yeah, if you're you're on the trail, you want to go ultra, ultra light. Having a stove like this MSR stove, what model is this one, Alan? I have no idea. I've had that thing so many years. It doesn't matter. One of these MSR backpacking stoves are just so simple, easy to use. Thread them on. Make sure our valve is shut. Thread them on to the uh, to the canister until it seals. Pull out the big lighter. Or a ferro rod. You could you could light a, light these with a ferro rod pretty easy. And there we go. And we're lit. And you could crank this baby up. Put your water on there. And which I have. I mean, I know this is old news to all you backpackers out there that are familiar with this kind of stuff. But some people are not. Some people are brand new to this kind of thing. And there's so many options out there. You just don't really know which one to go with. Um, you know, one thing people have said a lot lately that gets on my nerves what's that? is, uh, well, that's pretty basic. Pretty basic. You well, know, to you, maybe it is. I'm like, well, there's no such thing as advanced anything. It's just the yeah. basics that are so well done that looks advanced. Yeah. And there's so many people coming online now with the state of the world, the economy, civil unrest, that it's impossible to have your head in the sand anymore. And people, there's a lot of people that are new to this. So we, yeah, we like do. But right now, yeah. there's more people that are interested in this kind of stuff than ever. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like, you know. So now's the time to circle back and yeah. revisit that stuff. Yeah. And you're going to be doing stuff like this a thousand times to the one time you might actually defend your life, right? Yeah. I mean, how long can you go without a drink of water? I mean, this kind of stuff is on the daily. You're cooking yeah. every day, you know. Yeah. I mean, this is, but this, this method right here, this really simple MSR stove, there's so many different models out there, but any of the major brand name ones are going to be good, probably. They're going to be really lightweight. They're going to be durable, um, as long as you don't go with one of those really off-brand kind of Chinese deals. Um, they're going to be great. Um, and carrying the fuel, piece of cake, no-brainer. You're going to have boiling water, lickety split. Um, I could probably crank this thing up even higher. Yeah, we're really getting her going now. A little bit noisy, but... But this water's probably going to boil in the next 30 seconds, if I had to guess. So very, very efficient, very, very fast. And for that reason, these things are awesome. But you do have to carry quite a bit of weight um, with fuel canisters. But water's boiling. I mean, how long did that how take? How fast was that? Yeah. While I was talking to you there, we got boiling water. That was, that was live action. I didn't hit the balls or anything. Yeah. And you can drink that right now and probably be just a okay. Yeah, with the bug cooking in it too, a little extra protein, mm, which is nice. I like me a little protein. Yeah, if you want a no-nonsense, don't have to worry about it way of 
boiling water, cooking your food, boiling water, uh, heating up water to put into a, um, what do you call it, the pouches, the um, well, mountain house pouch. If you want that, then this is the easiest, by far, fastest way to do it. Your other option for kind of ultra lighting um, is something like this Vargo titanium stove. Um, the beauty of this is, well, that obviously is the beauty of it. It weighs nothing. I don't know how many ounces it is, but it's made of titanium. So that probably tells you mostly what you need to know. It's nothing. You won't even notice if you slip that into a pack. Down in like the hydration pouch of a backpack or something that would fit in easy. Or even in a cargo pocket, as full as my pockets are now. You know, since I've started wearing cargo pants on a regular, I just find I have got a lot of stuff in them. I just keep putting more stuff yep. in the pockets. But anyway, that fits into a cargo pocket and you would not even know it is there. So that's the beauty of that. Um, the other place where these shine is that you don't have to carry the fuel, um, at least where we live. There is there is fuel literally everywhere on every stick around here. Um, so this thing unfolds like a so, snaps together. You put it on the ground like a so, clear it out so it's not blocking any airflow underneath. And then you can just feed it through this little window. You set your belly can on top, hopefully find a little bit flatter spot than what I've got going on here. Like that. Set your belly can on top and you feed it through the little window with tiny little twigs, which I'll show you here in just a second. Um, but it's as simple as that. And this is gonna allow air to circulate through underneath because there's a space here. And it also gives you a sturdy place to put your pot. And then, why not, why waste it? Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and get it on there. It's gonna be hard to beat this thing just for just for getting some water to drink, boiling some water or cooking it up to pour a, or to cook your food. I mean, this little stove here, and it's so light. So uh, even in like urban environments, I would say, if I had to pick something that I was gonna be long term in it in an urban environment, this little stove would be awesome to have because you could just you know, bust up a desk or something inside of a building. <laughs> it's a, a, one drawer would, would cook all of your food out of a desk, you know? And all you gotta do really is just feed this thing little sticks. I split this stuff up, but you wouldn't have to do that. You could use the, like the twigs between Alan's feet right there. Just feed those in one at a time. Really, really efficient. It kind of focuses all the heat right on what you're trying to cook. You're not wasting anything. If I was to build a fire, you know, if I was to build an actual fire, stick this pot in there, there'd be a ton of waste and I'd be burning more fuel than I actually needed. Um, here, it's not that big a deal because there's just fuel everywhere. Not not that essential, but that would be a much more, a bigger signature too. If I was trying to keep a low profile, there'd be more smoke, um, more stuff to dispose of after the fact than this. Of this, I could just kind of kick around, stomp it down into the dirt, cover up with some leaves and call it a day. Um, and that's why I kind of like these little stoves. I'm personally, I'm just not into carrying a lot of fuel if I don't have to. Um, I recently took a, a offshore paddleboard trip and I had no other option. If you wanted hot water, boil water to cook your food or something, this is the only way to do it because there's just z literally zero fuel to be had. Even if you could find it, it was illegal where we were to do it. So. Um, it wasn't really an option to do a stove like this. Um, and this was the only thing we could do for the most part. But everywhere else that I've ever been, pretty much anywhere, this is this is the ticket. So um, this is probably my first choice for lightweight camping, carrying options, just to cook your food, boil your water. Over the Kelly Kettle for sure, because of the size and weight. It was pretty quick. My water is, it's not rolling boiling right now, but it's probably almost certainly killed everything in there that's gonna hurt me. Um, and it's only been a few minutes from, from flicking the bick to now.
All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, my first pick for kind of an ultralight carrying option uh, to boil my water, cook my food, is going to be this little Vargo titanium stove. I think it outweighs, no pun intended, the little MSR stoves because you don't have to carry any fuel with you. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.